In this presentation, we will learn binary addition, a very important topic. Before moving to binary addition, we will see how to add two decimal numbers. The first decimal number is 547. The second decimal number is 25. You already know how to add them, but from this example, we will figure out the concept of addition. And once you know this concept, you can perform addition in any base. So let's start with it. 7 plus 5 is 12. So we have 2 here and 1 will go as carry, 1 plus 4 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, as there is 7 we have no carry, so carry is 0, 0 plus 5 is 5, so when you add these two decimal numbers you will get 572, 5, 4 and 7 are the coefficients and we can write, we can write this as 5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 2, the weight of this position is 10 raised to power 2, plus 4 multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 plus 7 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0. So these are the weights of these three positions and we can do the same thing for 25. 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 1 plus 5 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0. And again we will try to add them. I will make three columns. The first column will have weight equal to 10 raised to power 0. The weight of second column is 10 raised to power 1 and the weight of third column is 10 raised to power 2. 7 plus 5 is 12. 12 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0 and 12 is not a decimal number because we already know base in case of decimal number system is equal to 10 and we have 0 to 9 different digits and here 12 is greater than 9 so it is not a decimal number and we will break 12 like this 10 plus 2 10 is the base of decimal number system and we can write 10 plus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0 I will open the bracket 10 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0 plus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0 10 multiplied by 10 raised to power 0 is nothing but 10 raised to power 1 or I can write 1 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 1 plus 2 multiplied by 10 raised to the power 0. This first column is for the weight 10 raised to the power 0. I will call it column 1 for weight 10 raised to the power 0. The second column is for the weight 10 raised to the power 1 and the third column is for the weight 10 raised to the power 2. And uh, we can clearly see 2 is the coefficient and 10 raised to the power 0 is the weight. So this 2 will fall in column number 1 and uh, the coefficient 1 will fall in column number 2 because weight is 10 raised to power 1. So we have 1 here. This 1 is nothing but the carry. This 1 is carry and now we know why we have 1 as the carry in our sum. 4 plus 2 is 6 and we already have 1 so 6 plus 1 is 7. So we have 7 in the second column and 7 is less than 9 so it is a decimal number and we don't have carry or we can say we have carry equal to 0 because we can write 7 equals to 0 plus 7 so we have 0 into 10 raised to power 2 plus 7 into 10 raised to power 1 right I have just multiplied this by the weight we have to multiply weight on the right hand side also so this will give us carry equal to 0 and sum equal to 7 so we have sum as 7 and carry equal to 0. Carry will fall in 10 raised to power 2 column. And here we only have 5. 5 plus 0 is 5 with no carry. So I will write down 5 in the third column. And the answer is 572 which is same as this case. But now we know why carry is generated and why it is transferred to the next position. Now we will move to binary addition. The first number is 1, 1, 0, the first binary number and the second binary number is 1, 0, 1 and we have to add them. I will again magnify them by including the weights of position. So we have 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2, weight of this position is 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1, weight of this position is 2 raised to power 1 and 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 weight of this position is 2 raised to power 0. We will do the same thing for 101 
0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 1 plus 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 0 and now we will perform the addition 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is again 1 and you already know base in case of binary number system is equal to 2 and we have 0 and 1 as the permissible digits so the sum the sum should be less than 1 or equal to 1 so this is the condition for not having the carry and in the first two cases we have sum equal to 1 so there is no carry carry is 0 but for the third case when 1 is added with 1 the sum is 2 so we have 2 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 and 2 is greater than 1 so we have to break this like this 2 plus 0 2 is the base and we can write it as 2 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 2 raised to power 2 is the weight opening the brackets we have 2 raised to power 3 plus 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 or we can write 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3 2 raised to power 3 is the weight of this position and 2 raised to power 2 is the weight of this position so 0 will go here 0 multiplied by 2 raised to power 2 and 1 will go here 1 multiplied by 2 raised to power 3 so this is our answer I will neglect the weights and we have 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 as the coefficients of sum so this is how you have to perform the binary addition I will summarize binary addition for you summary of binary addition when you add 0 and 0 sum is going to be 0 and carry is also going to be 0 when you add 1 and 0 or 0 and 1 sum is going to be 1 and carry is going to be 0 and when you add 1 and 1 sum is going to be 0 and carry is going to be 1 this last case is the most important result of this lecture 1 plus 1 will give us sum equal to 0 and carry equals to 1 this is very important and if you remember this result you will face no problem in binary addition like in this case when we added 1 and 1 the sum this is the sum sum is 0 and this one is the carry carry is 1 this is all for binary addition now we will move to homework problem the first number is 1 1 0 1 1 and the second number is 1 1 1 1 once you have your answer post it in comment section this is all for this presentation. If you have any doubt regarding any part of this lecture, please ask in comment section.